So why do we call it the commutative property of addition? It's because subtraction doesn't work. Like if you said, uh, unless the values were the same, which is a small stipulation, but if I said, uh, uh, well, 18 minus nine, right? Uh, I'll use a different number actually, 18 minus seven. Okay, you'd get 11 right there. Well, what if you did seven minus 18? Oh, okay, see now, now I don't even have any numbers to borrow with in the tens to take seven from eight from. So this is gonna give us what we're gonna consider a negative value, but we're not worried about that garbage right now. All right, but just we just need you to understand that it's not the same. 11 would be different than this answer, which of course is in the negatives, but uh, it does not work with subtraction, the commutative property. So the last thing about the commutative property, just like we saw on those big examples, is um, uh, now I actually wrote it out where we can rearrange the, the numbers, but it means that you can actually kind of group them if you wanted to on your own.